CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Christopher Cruz in the Washington Bureau. At least 16,000 people have fled floodwaters after a dam was blown up in Ukraine. Each side has blamed the other for the destruction of the dam, which is in a part of southern Ukraine that Russia has occupied for more than a year. Here at the White House, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby couldn't assign blame, but he did reflect on the damage that's been done. Its destruction can very well have a devastating impact on Ukraine's energy security, and it will certainly have an impact on Ukraine's canal system. The dam collapse has already sent global wheat and corn prices higher. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. The race for the Republican nomination for the White House for the presidency is about to get more crowded, says CBS's Caitlin Huey Byrne. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie once used his street fighter brand to defend Donald Trump. I am proud to be here to endorse Donald Trump for President of the United States. Now he's hoping to bring him down. I got off the train when he stood up in the west wing of the White House behind the seal of the president it told us the election was stolen. Christie will announce tonight Vice President Mike Pence, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum also expected to make their entry into the race. What's next in the multiple investigations of Donald Trump by the Justice Department? The former head of the department, Trump Attorney General Bill Barr, spoke on CBS Mornings about the case of the former president's possession of classified documents after he left the White House. This would have gone nowhere had the president just returned the documents. But he took them around for a year and a half, and the question is, did he deceive them? And if there's evidence of that, people will start to see that this says more about Trump than it does the Department of Justice. A surprise merger of the PGA Tour with a controversial Saudi-backed live golf league. Yahoo sports writer Jay Busby says the legacy of the PGA Tour is that state tour had taken such a strong stand against Saudi money and now Saudi money is going to be back in this entire new venture. Many of the players who jumped to live golf have been questioned about Saudi Arabia's human rights record. I don't have any I'm playing golf. I'm playing golf. It's still unclear how and when those players like Brooks Kepka, Phil Mickelson, and Cam Smith will be welcomed back. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. CBS's Jim Crisula with the latest on the amazing recovery of an NFL player. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hem has taken part in team frills for the first time, some six months after having a near-death cardiac episode during a game. He appeared upbeat by happily waving to the cameras pointed at him during pre-practice stretching drills. But now up 10 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.